what's up guys welcome back to clash with eric guys we have our scoreboard prepped we're ready for some clash of clans esports and we're playing some town hall 10 today we're playing in the black widow tournament one of my favorite tournament circuits at town hall 10 and what makes it really interesting is that after the war starts in this 5v5 one hour war one attack player format the tournament admins give us an army and every single person in that round of the tournament has to use that specific army and the army we have up on the screen today is the army that we have to use. So this is normally a bowler bomb attack strategy where we take bowlers and a wall wrecker, we charge it into the base there with the P.E.K.K.A.s to provide some tanking and get it all the way into the middle and then we double clone rage and heal and have it go off like a bomb. But this army is actually tweakable with a different CC and we're gonna see that today and we're gonna see this army in action as Double Barrel takes on Radical and we'll see if we can take a win here. So guys, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, make sure you use code Eric and let's dive right into the first attack of this war. All right, guys, I've got some good ideas and I'm gonna attack first in this war here. We are allowed to change the troop comp by a slight amount. We're allowed to change up to 10 troop space and I swapped out two of the hogs for two balloons and we're gonna use those balloons to protect a blimp from black mines on its initial entry. We're gonna do an electron here with the double clone, the rage, and then we're gonna sweep the rest of the base with the P.E.K.K.A.s and then clean it up with baby dragons. You guys ready to do this? We're going live in three, two, one. Let's go. All right, so first up, we're going to need to put the blues down. We'll follow the baby dragon and then the blimp to go in and bomb out the area with those air defenses. We want to land directly on the air defenses if possible. So let's do this. So blimp. And we'll do a double clone and the rage. We'll spread these clones out so the blues have a wider split. And then we need to poison up the CC. Try to catch the queen of the poison. Okay, looking good, looking good. And some good value out of the sea drag. Look at the big plaque, our pack of balloons going down south. If they get that inferno, that'd be huge, guys. And it looks like they will. And this e drag might actually step over there and get the other inferno. That'd be huge right here. But let's get these heroes moving. We'll get the pekkas down. The baby dragon broke the ring of defenses, so they're all gonna travel up towards the town hall. Get that safe two star. It's only one attack per person. Safe two star is very very important here. This e drag doing some work. Look at it go up there. If it can get the air defense out with another shot here, that'd be huge. I don't think it will, though. We still have that heal spell, guys. We still have that heal spell. So we'll hold on to the hogs, and we'll just kind of sprinkle these baby dragons around wherever it's safe. Okay. Looking good. I was thinking about bringing some wall breakers instead of the Coco Loons to get the heroes in afterwards, but it looks like it doesn't even matter. That e track got so much value. The king and the queen going inside of the base there. Yeah, guys, we're the heal on the hogs there just to get the hogs through. And this is absolutely crushed. Look how many troops we have left over. I'm going to call it, guys. I'm going to call it. Oh, baby, it's a triple. Starting it off here strong here for double barrel. And we'll go see if we can win the rest of this war, guys. Everybody is going to be using this comp with probably either the Electron or with the Bowler Bomb. So don't go anywhere. We have a lot of war left ahead. All right, guys, we started off strong here with a three star, but let's see if we can hold on defense and keep our lead. We have Rice from Radical Reddick striking back against Aquidon, also using the blimp here. Now, I kind of wonder if we hadn't shown our playbook there and used the blimp on our first attack here, would they have thought of this on their own? They probably would have eventually figured it out here, but maybe not till later in the war here. But he's coming in for his first attack here. Double clone and rage. And here we go. Gonna drop into that queen. The sweepers were not covering that area of the base there. We have the town halls close to the edges of the base here to limit the different angles of approach there from wall wreckers and from blimps. But he found an angle here and he's wrecking through this base here. Look how much value this electron got. But he still has a single inferno. Two air defenses on the other side of the base there. Breaking the ring of trash there with a baby dragon and a P.E.K.K.A. And he'll start to collapse in. Which way is he going to come with the heroes? He has baby dragons coming in up on the top side. And a couple of wizards coming down behind the P.E.K.K.A.s. And here we go. More wizards. And now the king and the queen. He's going right after the town hall. Going for the safe two star. And we'll see if he can finish out this attack. That single inferno is going to be a big problem. But also the CC. One of the biggest advantages of doing the Electron with a Lalo like we normally see is that if we have a Hound or something inside of the CC, then it never comes out. Or if we do have a damaged CC, 
like uh, baby dragon or witches or headhunters or an e-drag or anything like that then the e-drag that comes out of our blimp actually ends up killing it but here we go we have a cc pull because the cc was not destroyed meaning those troops survived with it and the troops are going to pull it out here the queen stuck on that golem for a very very long time he has a couple wizards there helping her out there but look how she's getting so much separation from the group here he has to pop her ability to survive the blast from the golems because they do explode when they die and a single Inferno's taking out Pekka's fast. He's got a baby dragon coming out of that ground expo. It gets hit by a black mine. He sends in a backup one. He's got five hogs, and those hogs have to go in and get that single inferno. He has two relatively high health Pekkas out on the outside. The queen taking some heavy fire there, but luckily the baby dragon and the hogs are tanking for the queen, keeping her alive here. A couple ground skellies pop. The baby dragon is onto the ground skellies as the hogs sweep through. Can they get the single inferno down? They do! They get it down through the heal spell into the bomb tower. We go. Two defenses left. High health Pekkas. He has the tanking he needs. And it's looking like that uh, baby dragon is going to clean up all the grand skellies. And he's going to lock in the three star. Nice attack here from Rice. And they do respawn. They get the triple on the board there of their own. And we're all tied up. All right, guys, here we go. Primer coming in for double barrel. Second attack of the war. And he's coming in with a stone slammer on this one. Why would he use a stone slammer? Stone Slammers go after defenses directly, but they don't get the crash damage that the Blimp gets. The Blimp is always going to be the better choice here because the Blimp can deliver that E-Drag and those clone balloons deep into the base there where all the defenses are so they don't get stuck on the trash on the outside. So a Stone Slammer, if it comes in, has to get deep in the base here. Dropping in the poison, rages up, double clone, and here we go. Looks like a couple uh, skeletons came off of a witch that came out of the CC. The poison and the e-drag easily deal with that CZ, and he heals up the balloons as they continue over to the right side of the base here. This e-drag going to get one more chain here, and it's probably going to go down here before it can take out that multi-inferno. But look at the balloons up at the top side. There's one balloon up there onto that multi-inferno, and it had full health going into it because of the heal spell, and he's able to get it down there, and that is some enormous value. Here comes the Pekkas with the king. Down comes the queen. Now, he has that Multi-Inferno here. He's going to wrap around it. He doesn't want to drop any Wizards in that area because they're just going to get roasted by the Multi-Inferno. It's very, very weak. So, just the Baby Dragon can sweep in there and grab it. There it is. Baby Dragon comes down as soon as he has an opening. And then the heroes can continue wrapping around. He can add Wizards to him. He has that P.E.K.K.A. going around the, the top side as the heroes go around the bottom side. And uh, Peck up there is getting some pretty decent value. But look, there's no air targeting defenses up in the top corner of the base. No, now Tesla pops. Right as I say that, a Tesla pops up there. So there's one air targeting defense is up in the top corner of the base now. And that uh, Baby Dragon can hopefully take it out. But he has another Baby Dragon coming in here to grab that Expo that the Queen can't reach. In comes a couple of Hogs as well. That Queen taking some heavy fire there. She still has her ability though. She'll be fine for now. The King's starting to get low on health there. Another baby dragon comes to the top corner. Going to grab that Tessa and start to clear out that top corner. And the queen grabbing the cannon, but she's going down soon. The king is about to drop. He's got the hogs coming in. The hogs sweeping in. Going to grab the arch tower and continue in. But he has to get that expo down. He's using the hogs to try to get to the air defense to protect the baby dragon. To try to get to that ground expo to save his queen. The queen goes down. Oh, can he get this? He's got to get the air defense only. Like, the Baby Dragons aren't threatened by the Ground Expo, but guys, those Pekkas still have full health. This is Crush Primer coming in here, getting it done, and putting another three-star on the board here for Double Barrel. Beautiful attack here, and uh, that's two, that's, wait, that's three triples in a row. We got one, they got one, and we got another one. So let's continue on here and see how this war turns out. All right, guys, here we go again. Seed from Red Echo Rednecks coming in against Primer. And once again, we're seeing that blimp. The blimp's going to come in from the top corner of the base here. Look where the sweepers are. Sweepers putting off to the top right and then down. So we only had a couple different angles of approach here. You can drop onto this uh, single inferno, or you could try to sneak in between the two sweeper ranges and get in the middle of the base here. He opts to go for the top angle, and he doesn't get the queen down with the electron. The E-Drag got immediately locked onto, and the Queen ends up surviving. 
This is not a max defense base, but it's holding strong here, softening up that electron. The king comes down on one side, a Pekka on the other side, and he's going to try to collapse in and get in this town hall. The walls around the town hall are open, so the Pekkas can walk in there, and they are going to go in there and get the town hall down. So we'll get the save two star here. He still has a lot of base left, and I don't think I saw anything come out of the CC. So in a moment, he'll probably have a hound or a golem come out of the CC, and then the queen's gonna get locked onto it. It's gonna cause some big problems. Luckily, everything on the outside of the base here is cleared. So the Pekkas and the king are gonna attack the wall and drive everything in to go grab that multi-inferno so it's not beaten out on him the entire way around. But now he has a triple expo farm, two ground expos over there, beating him down, and this gonna be a big, big problem for this attack. Let's see what happens. Did he still make it through? We saw in that other attack there that they did that it looked a little bit shaky at the start, but it somehow still came out with the triple at the end. I do have grim hopes for this one. He sends in the hogs. Gonna try to trim out some of those exterior defenses so we can get access to the trash and keep the Pekus and the Queen inside the base so they have a chance to get to those expos. But here comes the CC. We do have a balloon and a hound. The Queen's gonna get stuck on the hound there, unless she just dies earlier than that, anyways. But he's got the baby dragon starting to circle around here. Going to pick up as much percentage as he can. And uh, don't go down without a fight here. Get as much percentage on the board here. Could make a big difference in the long run of the war. But we'll see what happens. Remember, you only get one attack per player in this uh, format. So a fail stands. A one star stands. Nobody can go back and redo your attack without leaving a base completely untouched. You get five players with five attacks each. And that is our esports format. And that is an 87% for this one. Double barrel with the first official lead of the war. All right, guys. Here we go again. Double barrel striking again. Going to try to lengthen this lead. We have Jayfair coming in with a blimp. See what we can do with it. Starting off with a couple balloons. Searching for black mines. Find some Tessas up there. Pulls a couple red mines. No black mines. That's fine. He has sweepers pointing away from where the blimp is coming in. We definitely want that. Oh no, did he miss the did he miss the clones? Wait, did you even see a balloon coming out of there? I don't know if a balloon came out of there. Did he forget to get a CC all the way full? Oh no, guys. Oh no, this is bad. This is really, really bad. He needs to get the safe two star. But this one. Swagging two clone spells and dropping in an E-Drag all by itself into two air defenses in a single inferno. That thing dropped in a hurry. He gets the CC pull. He can poison it up there. He can use another baby dragon to pull the troops into the poison and fight him off there for just a second. But he's in trouble. He's in a lot of trouble right now, guys. He didn't get a full CC pull there either. He hasn't sent any ground troops. He sends in a hog and he gets a handful of goblins to come out of there. He can deal with those goblins. That'll be fine. He doesn't need the poison for that, but he probably should have dropped an air troop and a ground troop or just a ground troop to pull the CC. But uh, we'll see what happens here. This is a very interesting way to start this attack here and I'm a little bit worried for him, but I think he can lock in the two star without too much problems. Now I kind of wonder because a lot of the times when we set up to do a bowler bomb attack, we specifically say in our request, don't fill the remaining five troop space for my CC. Like we commonly go in and we do five bowlers, but we throw an extra giant in there to just like a filler, but we don't want the giant to get cloned. So we normally get it filled and then we delete the giant. And I wonder if he had a uh, request in there to do a bowler bomb attack there and he put a note to say don't fill the rest of the CC and leave that five extra true space empty and they just forgot about it. So nobody filled it and he probably went in without checking and he's going to pay big time here as he uh, is going to get the two star. He will get the two star, but this is going to hurt us a lot on percentage here. This is a big blow. Really, really got to pay attention to your CC request here and uh, that's... Gonna end in the 60s somewhere. He's got a couple extra uh, baby dragons here. Maybe pick up a little bit more down to this area. But struggling here. Struggling here. J Fear. You gotta fill your CC to the Electron. You can't do elect like the uh the clone spell at Town Hall 10 only clones 24 space. So it can't clone the E-Drag. It can only clone the balloon. So if you forget the balloon 
or you miss the clone and so that the one balloon that does come out doesn't get hit by the clone this attack will come to a grinding halt here and inevitably fail but here we go jfair unable to get this one done and he will end it at 67 percent huge blow into radical verdict's favor but they need to get a triple on the board to take advantage of it all right guys a triple here will put radical rednecks into the lead for the first time this war Jfair now on defense. We have Dark Prince coming in with our first wall wrecker attack of the war. We're probably gonna see a bowler bomb here, so get ready, guys. Here comes the CC pull. The CC split. The dragon went off to the top Pekka. The witch went to the bottom Pekka. And the witch is not standing inside of the poison. That could be a problem, but he should be able to power through. He's got a nice funnel. Everything should go in. Dragon drops. Here we go. Wall Wreckers punching in. Now look where the air defenses are on this base, guys. All four air defenses are touching that internal compartment where the town hall is. So if you get the bullets in there and with the assist of the queen can take down all four air defenses and the baby dragons can surround the base and take everything else out. He's got the heal down. Looks like the giant came out of the CC. He didn't delete the giant. You got to be careful if you leave a giant there because if the giant gets cloned, it can cause problems, but he didn't use the clone yet. Here comes the clone. Cloning up the bullets. Now the P.E.K.K.A.s, their 25 troop space and the Town Hall 10 clone can only clone 24 troop space. So it'll only clone the bullets and it'll leave the P.E.K.K.A.s alone. Now look how much damage he got here from... Guys, this is this is crushed. He's absolutely smashed this. The bullets are down, but the Baby Dragons should have no problem cleaning out the rest of the base here. He still has a Queen ability. Jeez, look how much damage those bowlers did in the middle of the base. Guys, that was crazy. That was absolutely nuts. All he has to do now is surround the base with the baby dragons and finish it off. Should be no problem. He's got the Tessa farm there. He's still got the king and the P.E.K.K.A. working out of the walls. Trying to break out and get into the Teslas. There's one. Baby dragon on the other side trying to get to the expo. That baby dragon's going to go down. It's going to be the last event standing. This is not good, guys. All the baby dragons have bunched up and the king and the peckers have gone down. They take a red mine. Another red mine. They're all getting softened up here and they're not self-enraging. You got to keep the baby dragons spread out here and they're all going to die. It's going to be a fail. It's going to be a fail after that killer setup. I can't believe he failed it. Dark Prince. With a 98% unable to get it done. Nice try, but Double Barrel's going to maintain the lead for now. All right, guys, here we go. A critical moment in this war here. If they get the triple, they take the lead, and he's coming in with a Slammer Electron. Now, with the Town Hall in the middle, probably should have gone with a blimp on this one, I think. That needs to go to the... No, it's going out to the Archer Tower. Oh, the Slammer's going to fall on the outside of the base. That is huge right here. Rages it up. Double clones. Hits the baby dragons with the clones. The E-Dragon's going back in. He's lucking out a little bit there. Nothing is coming out of the CC yet. The E-Dragon stepped away from the rage. So it's not going to get any more rage chains. He still has to deal with the CC. If the heroes start over there, then the Hound will come out. But look at this. He dropped in a baby dragon onto the CC is to try to destroy it before the heroes are deployed. If he can get it down there, then the CC will die with, or the Hound and the uh, Balloon or whatever's in there will die with the CC and the heroes can have free raid over that area and they can charge their way in, taking out the enemy heroes and working their way towards that town hall. Bunch of Tessas pop in there. The Tessas is actually gonna work to his favor here, making so that the King and the Pekkas will attack the right wall and go into that compartment. The Queen's gonna step up, grab the single Inferno. He's got a baby dragon circling in there to try to help out the town hall. More baby dragons circling the outside. He has the hogs coming in while the expo is tanked. They're going to go out to the air defense and keep these baby dragons safe on the outside. They do get it down. He has the heal spell in the middle. Healed him through the multi-inferno. A baby dragon might step over there and grab that multi-inferno. The queen will do the job though. Baby dragon's going to help her out though. Still got baby dragons working in the top side. He's got one more air defense to work through. A couple cannons. This isn't looking half bad, guys. It started off a little bit rough here, but he might get this. He might get this. Peck is tanking. The queen is has uh, one cannon on her. She still has that ability, guys. Guys, she still has that ability. If that Pekka breaks through the wall there and takes the cannon, 
I think the queen honestly could probably take the rest of the base here by herself. Guys, it's a triple and Radical Rednecks is back in the lead or really the first, that's their first lead. It's their first lead of the ward there. Pops the queen ability of swag and there we go. Double barrel playing from behind now for the first time this war. All right, guys, here we go. Double barrel's final attack. We have to triple. We're playing from behind. We have Aquidon coming in here. He's got the wall wrecker. He's coming in with the bowler bomb attack. We have the town hall near the edge of the base there. And he's going to come in opposite of it. Three P.E.K.K.A.s down to provide the tanking. The king is going for a walk here. You have the baby dragon on the bottom side, clearing on the outside. A Tessa farm up on the top side of the funnel. Freezes up the enemy queen in the expo to try to get this wall wrecker to punch deeper into the base. Needs to break that wall. Needs to break the wall before the queen busted open. Double clone. Rage heal. Bowler's going ham in the middle there. No giant came out of a CC. He deleted the giant purposely and only went with 30 out of 35 troop space in a CC. So the giant doesn't get cloned and he gets all bowlers here. He's got the CC pulled. He's got the dragon inside of the poison. The witch on the outside of the poison, unfortunately. The king is trying to fight to that witch. Going through a wall. He's going to get stuck on... Uh, Scaly's there. Is there a P.E.K.K.A. with him? Oh man, that witch is just wrecking through. He needs to deal with that witch. That is a big problem, guys. The queen trying to get through the wall there and get to that air defense before there's too many baby dragons. Here comes the hogs missing a builder hut over in the corner and in the top corner and in the bottom corner. He's got three builder huts in every corner. He's dropping in the troops in those corners. Definitely taking care of those. Good plan. Good idea. But can he still make this? The witch ended up killing the P.E.K.K.A. and the king. Did some work to the queen here. She gets through it. The baby dragon ended up helping her kill the skeletons. There was a hole in the base right there. He drops in some blues directly into the hole and some hogs. He's got three more baby dragons to deploy. Look at that. He's taking advantage of a hole next to the air defense in the base there. And he gets almost direct access onto the air defense. And Aquidon has done it, guys. Double barrel back into this war and gonna force it to the final attack here this is a really close war guys but we have to go to the final attack here to see what happens we have to hold on defense or radical red X can take back the lead here and take the win nice job to aquidon all right guys here we go the moment of truth radical red X in for their final attack and anything less than a triple is elimination from the tournament Double barrel in the lead here on stars, but not on percentage. Radical Rednecks has to get the three star right here. Couple baby dragons down, following the slammer into the base. Takes a black mine. How far can he punch in? Rage. Clone. Clone. Oh no! Oh no. Did that just happen? Guys, did that just happen? He dropped the clones, but he was slow to drop them. And the the balloon died before the clones were down and he swagged the clones. You have to get the clones down before the slammer opens. You have to judge exactly where the slammer is going to open and you have to get the clones down in advance. So that way that balloon survives long enough to get cloned. And that did not happen to this one. And you know what that means, guys. You know what that means. That means this attack is in a grind to a haul here. And Double Barrel is moving on to the next round of the playoffs. Radical Rednecks will be eliminated after this attack here. Nice war. They did a good job here. They had a lot of really good attacks there. And they even had that 98% from their Bowler Bomb attack there. And if that would have gone through, they would have taken the win here. It could not have been much closer than this one. Nice war, and uh, I'm excited for the next round of the Black Widow Tournament. Because every single round, we have a different, unique troop composition that is not part of the meta. And we'll see if we can uh, continue to take wins here in this very, very abnormal tournament. I'm excited for it, guys. And I hope you guys are too. I hope you join me back for more. Let's uh, bounce out of this one here. Let's let him finish up and see how much more percentage he can get. And then we'll go and check out that final scoreboard here. But there we go. That last baby dragon is down. Climbing a little bit higher in percentage into maybe get to 80. Probably just to 79. 79. No, 80. It is 80. 
80 is the final and there we go let's go to the final scoreboard the war is over war results are in and radical rednecks goes down to double barrel 13 to 12 and that's gonna be it for today if you guys want more town hall 10 videos we're gonna have a playlist popping up right over there in just a second so make sure you hit the like button hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this content and you want to see more and turn on the notification bell because that'll make so that these videos get pushed to the top of your feed and make sure you don't miss out on any of it. So guys, that's going to be it for today. Take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.